Most people think crocodiles and snakes are ugly and don't have a place in this world, but my dad loved them all. He encouraged my interest in them by letting me be a part of his work. From as young as I can remember, he taught me so much. Florida Everglades, USA. Mom and Dad are on a snake hunt. Now come on, hurry up. We've got to catch some snakes. Walking is a new skill for me. I need practice. And anyway, what about all the interesting stuff on the ground? There's all these snakes up here and she's tracking them back down there. Come on, mate. Quick. We're going catching snakes. Dad found one of his favourites, a rattlesnake. As parents, it's our responsibility to teach our children and other children of the world to respect Mother Nature and all its animals. This snake is hot, what we call hot, which means it's got pig fangs and a lot of venom. It certainly could deliver a fatal bite to me, Terry, and Bindi. Enough venom in one bite to kill us all. And some of the snakes Dad found were just perfect for me to handle, even as a little toddler. Now, this is a little hog-nosed snake, which is completely harmless. And we're trying to teach Bindi. You've got to put your hand out like this, sweetheart. Put your hand out flat. Like this. Flat. Do this. You, you put it on Dad Dad's hand. Flat. Do that? Yeah. Put your hands out. Put your hands out flat. There's a girl. Don't squeeze him. Don't squeeze him. No wonder I grew up loving reptiles. My dad gave me the perfect start. Now we'll let him go. Should we let him go? Come on, let's go let him go. This is nature. There you go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, little snake. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. was the best bushman in the world and he told me everything he could about animals of the land. But in the water he was just as good and I learned so much about the animals of the sea. Some very special moments in my growing up have been learning about endangered species. <laughs> These manatees live in the wild of Florida. Such gentle, curious creatures. Naturally, I love them so much after this experience. My dad was always very gentle with marine wildlife. They trusted him, like these wild dolphins. They even brought in one of their babies to meet us. Another one of my life's favorite memories. And all in the safety of my dad's arms. This was a moment that I will never forget. Filming wildlife documentaries with my parents opened up a world to me. Here she is, babe. Talk to her. Hi, Nikki. She comes, gonna show you her baby. She's right on his right ear, sweetheart. One of the best things ever is snorkeling on shallow reefs. And on this day, my dad and I had a close encounter with sea lions. They swam up to us and I thought they were so cute. But my dad also knew they could be too playful. He was super protective. And this time he kept me right next to him, or safely on his back. He taught me just how close we could get and also how to behave so we could stay with them. Encounters like this one were all part of my earliest years. Just me and my dad, no one else. But then one day along came a baby brother, Robert. At first I think I was hoping for a little sister, but now I wouldn't change him for the world. See this belly? Huh? He said it's gonna get bigger. <laughs> it and, can't possibly. And brace yourself. You and I are gonna have to stick together. What? Do you know why? Why? 
He, he thinks it might be a boy. Oh, great. <laughs> Mummy just had a baby. Really? Yeah. She's had a little baby boy, and he's named Robert Clarence um, Irwin. And he's only that big. He was just so beautiful. Even after seeing him, I couldn't help hoping that maybe he was really a girl. How do you know it's a boy? Did you check? They're not born with clothes on, Bindi. How long are you going to sleep for? I think by the way he is, I'll call him Brian. His name's Robert. But I'll call him Brian for short. We had the best times ever after Robert came along. Here's what I like. Bob isn't even two years of age, and here he is, out cutting loose in the wild of Rocky Mountains National Park, doing his own documentary, feeling his way, and those... <laughs> and those elk couldn't give a rip. You tell the camera about the elk. Two on the way. How many is there? One, two, seven. Wow, you're a good little documentary cameraman, aren't you? You count them for me. One. One. Any bet? Pat? No, they'd be scared of Bob Bob. They'd run away. They run away. Yeah. Hey, but good on you for making your own documentary. You're at the right age. I mean, you know, after Phoebe Crocs, elk are pretty easy, aren't they? Just like me, Robert started early. This is the baby alligator. And is it cute? You tell Johnny how cute it is. It's cute. When I turned seven, my dad took me into the University of Stevo, and the world got bigger and even more chock-a-block full of adventures, if that was even possible. We're in one of Australia's greatest wildlife areas. This is what the top end in the wet tropics is known for, great congregations of water birds. As the water recedes heading into the dry season, you can see these magpie geese and ibis and, and the other water birds all congregate at these shallow water holes. Even a sand goanna running in between the geese. That was how it appeared on the television screen. But what no one saw was the fun we had behind the scenes. My dad was teaching me how to make documentaries, just like him, sort of. Hey, Dad, there's a sand goanna running in between the geese. Can I say in between the geese? Whatever. <laughs> Luckily, I get better later. We all had to start somewhere. Our up-and-coming wildlife documentary presenter, Bindi Earl, over to you. Hey, Dad, is it? <laughs> Take 20. Go, 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 go. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Dad, there's a single one running in between the kids. <laughs> And there's this wild kid up here in the wet tropics in the poo. There's another thing, sweetheart. Look at this. Check this out. Over here. Here. This is pig poo. Oh. Now you gotta look at it. A good wildlife Don't presenter you holds your hands throw. out. Don't you dare throw it at me. I wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to say, these, sample, these geese are one of the prettiest sights in the world. Okay. These geese are the... <laughs> you are a cracker. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> take two. These geese are... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, take three, take three. Take three, take three. <clears throat> these geese are... <laughs> <laughs>